Hello everyone, I'm Jacob Kyle from Nightmare in the Street, and today we are updating Oxygen OS on my rooted OnePlus 2. Alright, so a couple of weeks ago an update to Oxygen OS came out, and Oxygen OS is the built-in stock ROM that comes with OnePlus 2s and OnePlus 1s and the OnePlus X. Now you may be wondering why I'm still running stock, because in the past I've always been very supportive of CyanogenMod. Well the reason I'm still running stock is because there are several CyanogenMod builds available for this phone, but none of them are official. And even though I loved the nightly CyanogenMod builds on my LG G2, those were official nightly builds. I don't know if the unofficial builds are going to be as high quality, and they might be, but I just, I don't know. I've never used anything but the official builds of CyanogenMod. And there are actually several unofficial builds available on the XDA developers forums. I don't even know which one to choose. So if I end up installing CyanogenMod on this, it would require me to wipe my data, and if I'm going to do that, I might as well try updating this the just the stock ROM first, Oxygen OS. Now the OTA update does not work because this phone is rooted, but I downloaded a zip file that's got the image in it, copied it to this phone, backed up all the stuff from this phone to my computer, and apparently it's not even supposed to wipe your data when you uh, when you update the way I'm about to update. So basically it's gonna wipe root and I'm going to have to flash the super user binary again. But this should be pretty quick and painless. Obviously that's not normally the way that projects with phones go. So we're just gonna restart this phone into twerp and we are going to try flashing this image and we're going to see what happens. Alright, and as we move this smooth tripod down, now we've got a great view of the phone there. We'll zoom in. I know this is pro camera work, isn't it? Alright, so don't even need to show you guys my password like I used to because we got fingerprints now. Go ahead and disconnect from AirDroid. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and reboot this phone and to do that I'll actually use uh, titanium. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to use this to uh, to reboot. Yes, reboot to recovery mode. Alright, so like I said, we're just going to flash the zip file, and we're going to see what happens with it. It might break things, it might not. Up a level, download, here. Sorry, this is uh, rotating all over the place, but we will swipe that. And yeah, it should only affect the system partition, so my data theoretically should still be there after this is done, as long as we don't wipe it, which I'm not planning on. We will wipe the catch once that uh, gets done. Okay. Done. Successful. All right, so now we will wipe the cache, like I said, because that's always a good thing to do. And that's done. Okay, so I've been thinking that I could not do this. Did this phone just... All right, there we go. Thinking that this was impossible, did not think it would be this easy to upgrade since I rooted this, but like I said, it might take the root off but that shouldn't be too much of a pain to deal with. I actually am disappointed that the um, this update came out several months after the latest version of Android came out, but the update doesn't even include the latest version of Android. I was kind of hoping OnePlus would be a little better about that because they're a smaller company, but looking like they're not. Alright, Android is upgrading. That's always a good sign. Since when do I have 161 apps? Well, that's upgrading awfully fast. Spoke too soon. Man, it zoomed through them in the middle there, but now it's just hanging on these couple. This is taking forever, so I'm going to use this opportunity to wipe this screen off. If you notice any scratches, don't worry. I've still got that, um, that stock screen protector on here. And I'm planning on replacing it in a couple months. Okay, finishing. Cool. Alright, so it clearly didn't wipe our data. Um, still have this problem though. Oh, no we don't. Alright. It used to be when the phone first turned on, I had to turn the screen off and back on before the fingerprint reader would work, but looks like they fixed that. So scrolling through here, looks like we've still got widgets initializing. The clock is ready to go, although uh, 
weather's not. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there we go. Alright. Well, that's being buggy. Not a great first impression. There we go. There we go. Alright, that's what that's supposed to look like. Calendar is loading. Why is it taking so long, though? The specs in this thing are super high end, so I don't know why it's taking that long to load a widget. And I had a stutter there a moment ago, and the animation. There we go. There you go. All right. So it loaded that widget. It just took a minute, which is kind of disconcerting. But um, at this point, try turning on AirDroid. Is it gonna go? There it goes. Now I actually am going to check if that broke root. Well, first I should check if the update worked. I guess shouldn't I? So if the update worked. We should be running Oxygen OS 2.2.1. So, Android version 5.1.1, Oxygen OS 2.2.1. All right, so that worked. Awesome, and as you can see, Android security patch level, February 1st, 2016. Considering this phone was purchased in November, I think it's safe to say the update worked. So cool. Now if we go to system update, it should tell us, yeah, our system's up to date. Awesome, so now, we go to uh, if we go to titanium backup yeah I could not acquire root privileges and if we go into super su no su binary installed all right cool so what we'll do is we'll turn on AirDroid, and I actually just downloaded the super su binary the most recent one on my computer so we will connect to AirDroid here and let me upload that file wirelessly all right so that's on here now so we will once again reboot the device except I guess we don't have uh, the ability to do that since we're not rooted alright how do I reboot this thing how do I do this manually I, I we should have done this before we started the thing up but no big deal alright power off power and volume up there. There we go. Fast boot displayed. From there, select recover. We don't have any options. Well, I'm glad that that website is accurate. ADB is always a pain in the butt in Linux. All right, can we just install ADB from uh, from our arch repositories? We can install it from from the AUR. There we go. All right. Plug this in here. Alright, so now the phone's not turning on at all. I'm mildly underwhelmed. It's just, it's not, it's not turning on at all. I don't get it. It was just on when I plugged it into the computer. Yeah, see when I plug it in, it lights up. Yeah, I, alright, it lets me start it up normally. No, it doesn't. Stop it. I don't want your stupid battery indicator. Just turn on. There you go. Now we gotta wait for this to finish starting so that we can immediately turn it off again. There we go. Alright, we're in fast boot mode. Plug this in. ADB devices. Do we have to re enable USB debugging or something stupid like that? I already had USB debugging enabled, obviously, because I installed root on it. So we'll start it up and we'll see if uh, if ADB debugging magically got disabled during that update there. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, yeah, there we go, settings. Developer options. USB debugging is on. USB debugging is turned on. I, do I need to authorize it for USB debugging or something first? Yeah, here we go. I don't know, maybe that was it. Okay. ADB reboot recovery. Hey, knew that command off the top of my head. So do we get twerp now? Or yes, we get twerp. Okay. So now install. Looks like we had two copies of the, uh, the super SU binary for some reason, but we'll install that. 
Web cache. Okay. And reboot. And now we get to upgrade again. Well, it doesn't say upgrading, it says starting, but doing the same thing. All right, here we go. Just wait for this to detect my SIM card there, because there is a SIM card in this phone, even though it says no SIM card. Hopefully it will detect that eventually. And it still says it doesn't detect the SIM card, which is great, but it's got bars, so it's got to gotta detect something. But if we open up Super SU now, uh, did not get an error that time, and if we open up Titanium Backup, yeah, we got root. Cool, so that is how you upgrade your OnePlus 2. And hopefully that was at least a little informative. I was honestly expecting this process to be a lot more difficult than it was. I was expecting that it would wipe my device, but it did not wipe my device. All my stuff is still here. Widgets are loading a little slowly, but yeah, maybe eventually I will install CyanogenMod on this. If CyanogenMod ever does release an official version for the OnePlus 2, then I'll definitely do that. But honestly, Oxygen OS is not that bad. It lacks some of the privacy features that I would like, but it does have some privacy features built in, which is nice. And yeah, as soon as this gets upgraded to the next version of Android, which better darn happen, then yeah, that version of Android's got all kinds of privacy features built in, and I'll make lots of videos about those. But for now, that was upgrading my OnePlus 2 to a new version of Oxygen OS, and then rerouting it. That is how you do it. I will have the link uh, to the forum post on the OnePlus website that basically explained how to do this, which was very nice. I will see you guys next time. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm the Nerd on the Street, and goodbye.